Hello, let's start with something more meta. What do you see here? It's a rectangle, obviously, with a piece of string attached. And however that is technically correct, it doesn't tell you anything about the purpose of this thing. So let me give you some context. I have a glass door which has a lock on the outside. And when you lock it, you cannot really tell that from the inside, which is not very practical. So my first idea was, well, after, you know, like thinking about it, like what is the simplest way, I thought about a flag or a semaphore, if you will. And uh, this is the first incarnation of it. I think it took me, I don't think more than 30 minutes to do it. And it's mostly composed of garbage. I mean, you know, stuff I had lying around. Uh, yeah, it's a piece of paper, laminated and some weird material here, which used to be this orange color, and this used to be blue, uh, just painted with a very cheap marker. And the new stuff, as mean as in like actual stuff I bought, uh, masking tape, and a piece of string, which I think is the only part that held. And this was outside for, I think, at least a year. And you know, right here we have our fall seasons, so you get lots of UV during the summer and the winter, you know, temperatures vary like from minus 10 degrees centigrade to like right now to probably like 40 plus uh, in the summer. And you know, it's, it shows the wear. So I have decided to make uh, a new one. And the new one is made out of metal and it's properly painted. And it took like two afternoons from the idea to actually getting to this point where this is ready. Now, the meta thing is the meta thing here is that I do not consider this to be a project, but I do consider this to be a project, even though you know both are very simple and they are kind of like the end result functionally is exactly the same. Now, how do I draw the line? I think to me it's basically two main things: how much design thought you have to put into stuff and then how trivial or non-trivial the actual manufacturing of the thing is. And if you think about it, it's a simple idea and, you know, you just need scissors, basically. That's, that's all. And whatever random materials you can get and you just put it in half an hour, don't give it a second thought. You know, you think like, you see the, uh, the holes here. I mean, what size should they be? Well, you don't think about it. It'll just take you like paper puncher and like whatever the holes sizes it's like that so you know not much design thought even less actual work now when it comes to working with metal i mean just the order of operations i mean are you going to sand this before you start cutting it no because you're gonna like scratch it anyway and you know just like marker just apply marker you know an eight year old can do that when you think about painting well you need to prepare the surface you need to clean it you need to apply primer and you know, like just think how are you even going to rotate it while it once it's covered with paint? You can't just grab it and move it. So, I mean, a lot of, of thinking, like, you know, order of operations, what operations, what tools do you have, what materials, etc., etc. So, you know, I don't think there is like a very strong distinction between what is a project and what is not, but I think we can draw it. And the general point here is that I want, like, everyone to think more about you know like how things come to be because you need an idea i mean if you go like on amazon or ebay and buy something and just print the sticker and put it there and think about it as a project i mean it's not a project you didn't put any design for into that and even you know like just putting a sticker that's not really work the same case that you know cutting out a rectangle out of paper is not really much of a project so yeah i mean kind of a meta thing here I hope this will last forever. In this case, I think the string is the weakest part. But hey, I can always replace it. This is sturdy. And you know, closed, open, closed, open. As simple as that. Uh, thank you for joining me. Hope that that sparked some thoughts or questions, um, you know, like thinking about designing and making stuff. See you later.